Hey, what's up guys? It's Risky here. Welcome to another quick video on my channel today. So today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a Basidi Ibex guide. I'm going to show you the most amazing spot ever for Basidi Ibex. This spot right here, you will find so many Basidi Ibex, you have no idea. I'm also going to show you a couple other locations that are pretty good as well. This one here is definitely the best. So what I recommend you doing is grab yourself a tent, maybe a few tents, put them on your character and just, just hold on to them. So the best thing you're gonna need to do. So one thing, I'm gonna tell you what not to do really quick. So a lot of times I join multiplayer and people have tents. So I'm gonna show you the location really quick. So we're here in a, don't know how to pronounce this, Ville. And we're here at this big hill here with the big old cliff. You can, you can see where I am. There's this outpost here, but spawning at this outpost and going this way, and being able to look this way it's not good enough i what i see a, a lot of people do wrong a lot of the time in multiplayer they have a tent set up right here literally right on the edge of the water which is not what you want because along this shore here all the way around is where these basidi ibex will drink also mouflon sheep drink a lot of the time here but this is a really good spot for mainly basidi ibex people will have a tent like right here it's it's kind of stupid they'll have a tent here and then they'll have like a, tri a tripod stand over here and over here you're just gonna screw up the whole spawning and where they're gonna drink. They're just not gonna drink there because your stuff is there. So what you need to do, spawn here, grab yourself a tent, run or drive a four wheeler all the way up here and put yourself a tent up here. Anywhere along this cliff, I put mine right here. You can put it here if you want, you can put it over here. As long as your thing is up here, your tent. So I'll show you the need zone time for these Basidi Ibex, eight to 11.30, so that's good. At one point, I had like four drink zones for the Basidi Ibex here. They just, there's so many, just trust me. When I go over this hill, you're gonna flip your shit. So put your tent here. I like the, the sweet, sto sweet spot is normally around like 9.45 is when they're all settled in. Cause just because it says the drink time is eight to 11.30 doesn't mean they're gonna get here at, or at eight and leave at 8.30. Sometimes some of the herds will get here at around 10 o'clock and drink all the way until like 11.45. That's, they don't leave at the exact time of the need zone. Anyways, let's go over this cliff here and what you can do is once you spawn in at your tent, you know, you got all these little lookout points basically. You can go way down there, you can go over there, and you can already see we got sheep down there, just some mufflum boys, and some level fours. Just look at all the Basidis. Basidis over here. Oh, we're going to keep on looking down the line here. If I can find any. Oh, there you go. There's a bunch more. Oh, there's some more there. Tons more, tons more. Look at all of them. Oh my goodness. The farther we go down here to the left, the more there is. There's just tons and tons and tons of Basidi Ibex here. If you guys seen my one diamond, what was it one diamond or three fails or some shit? one diamond two fails i can't remember this was the absolute sweet spot we had three level fives here at the same lake i had one over there and then two along this way crazy i've killed like three rares here already i've killed one diamond basidi ibex it's just an amazing spot but just because i'm finding diamonds here doesn't mean you will the spawns are going to be different you might find even more basidi ibex at your lake on your map or you might have even more than i do but as you can see here this spot is absolutely insane. Now, once you're up here, and if you see a bunch of animals, try and scan around and look for all the level fours, the bigger size level fours, and even the smaller ones, and just shoot them. Just shoot them, kill them, claim them, get rid of them for a potential respawn of a level five, because that's the theory. Normally, if you kill the higher, like a level four, it might potentially respawn to a level five. It's just a big theory that everyone has. We don't know if it's true or not, but we like to think it, it works. <laughs> but anyways, there you go. I'll show you one more time for the location right here. So around this hill here is the main spot you're going to be finding Basidi Ibex. You can come down here to the stream thing or this little uh, like river type thing and you can put a tent here and there's sometimes Basidi Ibex here. I never really find too many. So I really wouldn't waste your time too much there. But hey, it's a good place to check. Another great place for the Basidi Ibex is right here. You can see I have the CD Ibex zone there. I also have some over here. I think there's, oh, well, there's, this, this is actually a good lake here because you can get two different species of Ibex on the same little lake. You got Basidis on this side and then you got the Rondas over on this side. So you can set yourself up a tent like right here or over here and just, or, or even like up here on the cliff that we were looking down above them, you know what I mean? And there you go, there's another good spot. But this spot here, we'll teleport here and I'll show you. This is why bringing tents around with you is very important 
So you're gonna need another tent for this. I have mine right here, Kalina Rota or whatever, right here next to this big old like cliff monument type thingy. You can just come right here and normally you can look straight this way and there's already a CDI Bex just chilling right there. And you don't even have to go far at all. I don't ever really see them along this way. Sometimes you can find Mouflon if you come here around like 6.30 to 8.30 or 9.30, whatever the time is for the Mouflon sheep. And you might find some more Mouflon along the shore over there. Uh, sometimes I have Basidis over on this direction, but not really. It's mainly they're over here where you can see them right now. So very good spot there. You got one, two, three very hot spots for the Basidi Ibex to come drink so yeah that's pretty much it for this video just wanted to kind of keep it pretty short if you guys did find it useful make sure to let me know if you do have any other tips for the cd ibex make sure you let let me know in the comment section down below you might be able to help somebody out or even help me out but yeah i hope i helped if, you, if i did hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already it helps me out a bunch and i'll see you all in the next one later